if you're into model railways and railroads, and even into real railways and railroads, there's one fundamental aspect of the hobby that simply can't be ignored. Couplings! Well here I am, in Crew Works, Psst, the dining table. And this is the perfect place to talk about couplings. For a start, there are loads. Absolutely loads. Indeed, far too many for me to go into in any great detail right now. There's the Fleischmann Hook, the Fleischmann Profi, the Rocco Type 2, don't ask me what happened to the Type 1, the Rocco Universal, as well as the Marklin, just to name a few. And our viewers in mainland Europe will be familiar with most of those, I'm sure. Oh, and I had to use drawings because I don't actually own any of those couplings. And I can't use other people's photos of them either, as that would be breaching copyright. So, as you know, my layout is based on a region in the northwest of England, and we'll be using British outline rolling stock, which is just a posh way of saying trains from and based in the UK. Now, most of this rolling stock, which is just a posh way of saying locos, coaches and trucks, is made by Hornby and Batman, uh, with the odd appearance from Helgen, V-Trains and Dapple. And when it comes to models of British rolling stock, there's one thing they all have in common. The tension lock coupler. Indeed, I have several of them right here. Now this tension lock coupling system is easily the most popular in the UK, and there are several varieties of this one type alone. You see, that's the great thing about standards. There's lots of them. Well, there's the large tension lock, the medium tension lock, and the small tension lock. You might be wondering why there are three different sizes, and the answer is simple. Curves. No, 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 not those kinds of curves. That's more like it. Basically, large tension lock couplers are great on tight curves, but if your layout has really long, gentle sweeping curves, or no curves at all, then try to get medium or even small tension lock couplers, because they will look more realistic. Plus, some of the small tension lock couplers you get these days are hinged and will actually swing from side to side, meaning they can deal with pretty tight curves too. So what about NEM? Okay, well for a start, NEM isn't actually a coupling, but rather a socket, or pocket, <laughs> either is fine. NEM stands for Norman Europeische Madelbahnen, <laughs> as they say in Germany. But in the UK, we can simply call it Normal European Modeling Standards. So just like USB is a standard for computers, and telephone sockets are a standard for telephones, NEM is a range of standards for model railways. NEM number 362 is a standardised little socket for couplings. This little socket means that you can whip out the coupling that's already in it and replace it with any other NEM 362 standard coupling. So what's good about that? Well, many people don't like tension lock couplings and use a type called the KD, which looks like this. Indeed, I have a KD coupler on my Dash 8 locomotive here. You can see it just at the front there, and you can see one just at the back there. If you have a loco, coach or wagon that's fitted with NEM sockets, it means you can take out the tension knot coupler and put in a KD one. A NEM standard KD one, of course. There's something to be said for the KD coupler. It's reliable, it's small, neat, looks realistic, and you can use a magnet in the track to uncouple the locomotive from its train, which is pretty fancy. However, they can be quite fiddly to work with, to unhook, and, well, I've worked out that if I wanted to move my entire collection over to the KD system, it would cost me about £2,800. <laughs> so, it's not something I'm going to be doing anytime soon. So, We've glanced at some of the strange couplings you can find in mainland Europe. We've looked at the tension lock coupler, 
all three sizes of them, and we've even touched on the KD coupler. Are there any more? Yes. Finally, we come to proprietary couplings. Proprietary is a fancy way of saying will only work with own kind. For a good example, buy anything made by Apple. But in the world of model railways, a great example is the Virgin Trains Pendolino. The coupling the coaches use is obviously not a tension lock, nor is it a KD or anything like what we've looked at. There's also the Virgin Voyager by Backman, as well as the Humble Pacer by Hornby. All use proprietary couplings. Why? Well, they're often found on EMUs and DMUs because they either help with conducting electricity, as is the case with the Humble Pacer, or they help the units to tilt at an angle around curves, as is the case with the Virgin Pendolino and the Class 221 Super Voyager here. They're both units that tilt, and so a proprietary coupling that allows the units to tilt is really, really helpful. Proprietary couplings are best left alone. So there we have it. Thus ends our little tour through the weird and wonderful world of couplings. They may be strange, they might be ugly, and they will definitely wind you up at some point, <laughs> but our trains would not be trains without them. <laughs>